Yeah, welcome everybody. I had mostly just hoping that we could just have fun chatting and looking at machines and things. I had a couple different things I thought we could do. One was I was going to do a sawing demonstration and show you how I cut up a log. And then after that I can sort of walk everyone through the mill and give a real brief sort of overview of where the lumber goes from here. And then if, for, for those who are interested, there's an easy little walk through the woods here where we can sort of talk about the forest and what we do with our forest and how we take care of the trees. And um, yeah, that'd be a 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, I don't think most everybody has pretty good shoes, so it's not really going to be any muddier than this. Um, I used to do that, and to be honest, with the guy we don't even know, it's not a very good example here. 99 percent of our logs, one minute with a with a brush, and you're good. Um, this was actually set up for it. There's that bracket up there. It's a circular saw on a spring that just makes a little cut and cuts straight through the bark right in front of the blade. Saw yeah. It's going to be rift sawn on the sides because it's not going to dry flat like this. Well, that, that it's going to cup. Well, and in fact, the first few cuts when you were doing it that way were cup to work. Exactly. And those are just plain flats on boards, and that's they're, that's what they that's are. Just what they are. Um, okay. Now I got down to the half. I flipped it up, and the first board's flat. Then I got a couple rifts on, and then I got those ones in the middle that are quarter sawn. And then that quarter, then I flipped the ground and I got a few more quarter sawn boards. Yeah. Um, so that way, if it was a bigger log, I would have split it in half, flipped one well, half off, was... left the other half on and cut it, half, okay. cut it down that okay. way. That was, that was kind of what I was wondering. Yeah. Was, was the way but in this case, it's got enough it. knots in it, it's mostly going to go to flooring. <clears throat> About a third of those boards need to run through the edger, which is this machine, this red machine here. Okay. The ones that have bark on an edge, yeah. and that'll trim that bark off and right. make a nice square edge. So a third will go through the edger and then they'll all go, we can walk over to the other end of the mill to the air drying sheds. Um, and so I have the date on here of when it went in and then I, after six months I can pull it and it'll go in the kiln. Um, this well, unit, air dries and then goes in the it air dries first and then it gets kiln dried. And the air drying will bring it down to 20 to 25 percent moisture content from a start of 55 to 60 percent. This unit up here is mostly eight quarter, some five and six, and a lot of eight quarter in here. Um, this will be here for at least a year. Work hot from the radiators. Um, so the radiators heat up the air. The oak finish is at 145, the maple at 135. That'll 130 um, for a couple days will kill any bugs. Um, is that one of the reasons or is that? Um, that's definitely one of the reasons. Um, maple, if you get it too hot, it kind of gets toasted and it gets, turns brown. Um, so you don't want to get the maple as hot. The oak, you need to get up hotter in order to push that last. Well, you, have to you have to replant, you have to replant, and there has to be trees growing within two years. So this is, you know, pre-settlements, this was here, this was always like this.